What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how CyanogenMod 11 or Android 4.4 how it runs on the Kindle and I'm going to show you how to fix the audio problem and the orientation problem. So when you connect your headphone, if the headphone audio does not come out of the headphone, instead it comes out of the speaker, I'm going to show you how to fix that. So go to the volume section of the uh, sound section on Android and turn off save heads and volume. That should fix that issue. If it still does not fix that issue, go to Google Play Store and download DSP Manager. After you download it, you just have to open the application and it should fix all the problem. Now for the orientation problem, search set orientation on Google Play Store. The first one is the uh, one that you want to download and just open that application and press automatic and that should get rid of all the problem with orientation. So now I'll give you a demo of how it runs on the Kindle, sort of my first impression. So the first thing you will notice after you get CyanogenMod 11 is the soft keys and the notification bar is transparent. So it looks like you get a lot more screen real estate because it's not blocking the screen. So let's go to about tablet. And as you could see, I'm running Android 4.4.2. I just updated uh, updated the version Cyanogen mod uh, yesterday, so there was another update. And let's just see how it runs. So if you tap the uh, Android 4.4.2, this is what you will see. Instead of Jelly Bean that you would have gotten on Android 4.3 or 4.2, now you get this. Let's go home. I'll give you a demo of web browsing. So let's go to the verge.com and let's see how the scrolling is. It's almost loaded. Okay. So I'm just going to show you how it scrolls. It seems pretty smooth. It's a lot smoother than uh, what you would find in the Amazon OS. Because of Project Butter, uh, you notice a huge difference when web browsing. I couldn't even browse the web when I had Amazon OS because it was so laggy. Let's go to engadget.com. Takes a while and there. It's much smoother. It doesn't really lag that much as it used to, especially from uh, the Amazon OS. And then after getting the Android 4.2, this is even better than Android 4.2. Because of Android 4.4, it does not take that much hardware power to run Android 4.4 because the system requirement has been turned down. So even if you have a device with half a gig of RAM, this should run pretty well. So now let's talk about the problems. For some reason, when I put the device to sleep after while watching a video, the HW decoder turns off. So I'm going to give you a demonstration of what I'm talking about. If anyone knows a fix to this, please leave a comment below. So right now I'm watching a video. I'll just pause it to do something else. Let's just wait. We'll come back. Turn on the device. Let's play the video. And as you could see, it just won't load. So after a few seconds, you get a play button. And you could see the video just won't play. So this happens to any HD video. So I figure out the problem. It's probably something to do with the HW decoder. So when I'm playing a video on MX player, if I turn off HW decoder, the video works fine. But when I turn it on, the video just won't seem to play. I'm not sure what the problem is. But this is a huge problem. This is the reason why I would not recommend getting Cyanogen Mod, at least as of now. If this problem is fixed, I'll probably make another video. This is one of the huge problem because I can't watch any HD movie or HD video. The only way to fix this problem is by rebooting the device which takes a long time. So that's pretty much my overview of uh, CyanogenMod 11 running on the Kindle Fire HD 7-inch. Thanks for watching.